MGF comes out, has a New York Mets themed entrance. He has New York Mets themed gear, but his jacket has every professional sports team to play in the state of New York or the Meadowlands. <laughs> this is the most brilliant, subtle dick thing ever because you know it's insincere. There's nobody who cheers the Yankees and the Mets. There's nobody who cheers the Jets and the Giants. You got to pick one. But no, MJF is pandering to the whole goddamn yes. state. And he is over as a massive, Absolutely. massive baby face. Absolutely. And who was the guy who literally almost exactly a year ago to the day was telling you, you know what? Why don't we go with this MJF thing as a baby face? Because it's going to fucking work. And I had to hear one motherfucker after another tell me, oh, well, you know, oh, there's not enough heels. Or, ah, da, da. Well, here we are. This guy was so fucking over on this show, facing this giant fucking Godzilla, Samoa Joe. And the match is like, it's such a story match. Yes. MJF has a bad neck. He has vowed. And actually, I don't even know why. But for some reason, he did a promo, and he vowed on his life that he was going to choke Samoa Joe unconscious. I mean, he should have just basically said, you know, you choked out my friend Adam Cole. Not once, but twice. Cause remember he did an NXT once? Okay. So on, on my life, I will choke you out. But anyway, he vowed to choke him out. And so, uh, you know, from the very first spot is, I'm going to jump on his back and try and choke him out. Well, whoosh. Joe tosses him off, and he lands on his bad neck. And that right there is the whole story of the match. Max is going to try to choke him out, and Joe is going to try to break his neck. Yep. And everything they did was built around these two things. And it was like, every time he goes for the neck, the people are, ah! Every time Max makes a comeback. When he went for that stupid fucking kangaroo kick, when he put his hands like this... Oh, yeah. Easily the second biggest pop of the night. It may have been a bigger pop than when Eddie won the title. I, I'd have to go back and check. People do. They love fucking a go kick. crazy, and it's a it's a fucking drop kick. Yeah, he drop kicks a guy, and they go out of their fucking minds. But then he gets killed again. He takes his goddamn Death Valley driver on the edge corner of the apron. That le le legitimately may have been the most dangerous thing he's ever done. That was, was so bad. I was just like. Do you know that uh, MJF was in the locker room with me at American Rana 2019? All right. And I faced, uh, it was a tag match. I was in there with Nick Gage. And uh, and Nick Gage gave me that fucking choke breaker yes, yes. over his knee. And then and they he, stuffed pile drove and killed me and I was dead. And, and I in your career. Race. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, almost in my career. Should have. Yeah. But uh, I, I went to the back and uh, there was young Maxwell Jacob Friedman. And he looked at me and he just said... You're fucking out of your mind. <laughs> well, Max, I can now tell you that I am returning the favor. Yeah. And when I saw that fucking, Jesus, God almighty, that DVD on the fucking apron sideways, upside down, where he then did a flip and almost landed on his head on the floor. Yeah. You are a crazy motherfucker. So he's dead, and then they pull back the mats, and uh, he's going for the pile driver power bomb. They got the away. most out of that spot possible because each guy tried a pile driver, each guy countered, and after like a minute or two of battle, Joe finally gets the pile driver, and he hits this pile driver, which is like it's totally safe, but uh, Max sells it like he is dead, yes. and all these nerds run down to check on him, and Joe starts killing doctors, and he throws this guy's corpse into the ring. And they, he goes in for the cover, and MJF kicks out, and uh, and this place goes nuts. And we got this is awesome chance, and finally there, everything is going along great. Then Joe gets that choke on, and Max needs, he needs that support. Hmm. And who should run out from the backstage area but returning from the hospital? Where presumably Roderick Strong has not yet died. Adam Cole is back. And this poor guy runs and he jumps off that ramp to the floor. And he fucking just destroys his ankle. And man, he is such a pro. He fucking jumps to his feet and he just, he does everything he can in his power to just run to where he's supposed to be. And he gets there and he's pounding on the mat. And Max starts making his big comeback. 
And then, of course, you know, we got the ref bump, and then Cole distracts Joe, and then Mox takes off the wrist tape, and he starts choking Joe with the wrist tape as the ref's not looking, puts on the choke, referee wakes up, my, uh, Max chokes him out for the win. Mm. He choked out Samoa Joe to retain the title. And the place goes fucking crazy. You get the big payoff. The babyface made a promise and delivered. Everything is so great. And then, you know, Joe gets in the ring and he didn't know what happened to Cole. And so, you know, he's trying to kill him and he gives him this big shove. And poor Cole's on one leg and he just about kills himself. And then Max jumps in front of his friend to defend him. But then Joe extends his hand. Mm -hmm. And after all those years, Max shakes his hand and tells him, thank you. And Joe leaves. Doesn't attack him. Nope. Doesn't beat him up. Nope. Doesn't kill Cole. And then Cole's like, he's walking around. He's holding up. He's, he's got the biggest smile on his face. He's so happy. But inside, you know, he's like, son of a bitch. So he had to go to the hospital. All I know is they x-rayed his foot. So they probably thought it was bad. I don't know. I don't know. What the x-ray showed, but man, I hope he can do this pay-per-view or something because, mm -hmm. man, that looked bad. And what a, what a sad, that stupid fucking ramp, that goddamn ramp, it's taking out everybody. People, remember, remember when they first started and they had that ramp and, like, people were falling off the ramp left and right and tripping on it and... And then Danielson did that gimmick where he pretended he got stuck between the ramp and the ring. <laughs> I do remember that? that? Yes. Total work, by the way. Yeah, yeah. 100% from start to finish. People bought that. Yeah. It's, oh, my God, his leg. But, uh, yeah, no more ramps. They need to go. That uh, The first half of this match was just incredibly basic, but it was awesome because the heat was so great. Well, uh, And because Samoa Joe was such a great monster heel and MJ was such a great baby face. But it's, it's just the monster working over this relatively little fella, beating him up, and the place is going crazy for all this basic stuff. And then Max makes his comeback and scumbags up. And they do that fucking DVD in the apron, and like immediately, the next time they're in the ring, you can see Max's back is all cut up and bruised. A bad combo. But uh, he tried to use the diamond ring at one point, because Joe's an unstoppable monster, and, uh, and Max is still a scumbag. But he got caught. He gets kicked in the nuts. Joe hits the muscle buster on the bad neck. That gets a two. Thousands of people are jumping up and down with glee that MJF's kicked out at this point. So Joe goes to the sleeper. And the arm drops one time, and then Adam Cole, you see him running out the top of the stage. Now, there was a lot of time for this post-match, which doesn't happen. Usually on Dynamite, it feels like the endings are rushed. There was several minutes of time before between uh, Max winning this match and they do the handshake deal. Even after that, they're still just kicking around the ring, killing some, some uh, air time here. I don't know that they went to this finish a little early. But the ref had already dropped the arm one time before Adam Cole appeared. So Adam Cole had to run as fast as he could down that ramp and jump down to the side. And even though he did whatever he did to his ankle slash foot, had to hop around the ring to the other side to give Max the pep talk. And it was obvious he was hurt, but only through body language. His, he's, his face never showed anything. So, uh... Hope it didn't actually, like, literally hurt that bad. I, I hope it's not hurt that bad. But, uh, yeah, that, that's how that went down. And, and Max gets the win. And everyone's happy. And Samoa Joe lost this match because his opponent wrapped a piece of tape around his neck and cut off his air supply and choked him out. But you know what? Samoa, Samoa Joe respects a man who will do whatever it takes to win. So, yeah, he shook the fucker's hand. Yeah, I thought Samoa Joe was fantastic in this match. I thought MGF was fantastic in this match. The whole match was fantastic. What a great show this was. I just wish people hadn't gotten hurt. But Exactly. That, what can that, you do? that is the story of uh, Grand Slam. They need to steal one more piece of business from the Saturday Night Main event, if you will. And that's the green screen for those opening promos. Put something behind them, like, you know, we're FTR, you know, have no fits or whatever behind the, just something. Like what you got behind you right now. He's in an empty room. Ready? Boom. Huh? Hey, look at that. Now Lance is a star. Hey, guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show. All of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.